Some tell lies, other talk smack. But here we keep it real and get straight to the facts on Facts Only with your host, E.T. Facts. How I run it. We in the we in this thing. Today, we got some work for y'all. I promise I'ma bless you. Roll that intro. Soon as I hit the stage, boy. Black go crazy. Black go crazy. Black go in the race. You messing with my money, boy. Oh boy, here back we go. Up, we crazy. are fully loaded, people. We are fully loaded. I am back to get to the business. I know y'all see me. I'm over here double fisting it. I got a keyboard here. Got my tablet here. Man, we, we, we cooking today. We cooking today. What is the topic? The topic today, I'm going to just put it to you like this. We are talking about police again. And just the poor decision making. Pepper spray, steel stick, taser, shotgun, dog, and on and on and on. I could just go on and on and on. Here is my ultimate problem. I'm watching them make poor decisions with people that should just be common sense decisions. But as my grandmother used to tell me, common sense, son, ain't common. And I'm starting to see that if we have police officers that can't use common sense and sound decisions, they should not be a police officer. How often are they getting psychiatric evaluations? Second thing. How often are they being checked for their decision making ability? When are we putting them in scenarios to see how they're going to react? You have to hire third-party psychiatric evaluators, situational awareness checks, mental stability, common sense, just practicality, just to be able to gauge and see where these people are because what we're running into is, like we saw here recently, yesterday, a second lieutenant in the military, in his uniform, by the way, is pulled over, maced, harassed by the police for nothing. He did nothing. What we find often is that the police are doing warrant checks, running people's plates because they're too lazy to do some actual work. These are this is these things are layups for these people. And because they're layups, it's easy, quote unquote, policing. They're not doing anything to make the, make the neighborhoods better. They're not interacting with the community in a positive way. When the major, overwhelming majority of people in this country have disdain for the type of policing that is going on in their communities, we have a serious problem. We're paying into the tax base to fund said policing, and yet we're getting the, the, the raw end of the deal, the short end of the stick. I personally... I personally like police officers. I'm just going to start my premise there. I like them. What I do not like about them, though, are just a few things. The training, again, the evaluation of their mental state, the evaluation of their economic situation. How's their home life? How's their partner? And by partner, I mean Husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, kids, baby mama, baby daddy. What is going on in their life? How regularly are they having a consult with a psychiatrist? Someone who can diagnose symptoms, diseases, disorders, and write scripts. Not some counselor, not the camp counselor. I'm talking about real legitimate professionals that are third party that do not work for the city, the municipality, the county. They cannot. They have to be federally appointed and out of the pockets of the lobby. This is the issue. We have police unions that consistently and regularly get, in my opinion, poor decision-making police officers off the hook. And by off the hook, I mean not standing and being held accountable for poor decisions. We have an issue in this country. We want the community to trust the police. We want the, the communities to have good relationship with the police officers because when actual criminals 
who are a detriment and a menace to the community and the society in which they actually reside we need resolution for such things we need remedy we need deterrence but if people do not trust the police they start policing themselves and the way that base human beings police themselves is by maiming dismembering assaulting robbing hurting damaging the people in the community that they're supposed to be a part of so you have a lack of common sense from criminals and an even bigger lack of common sense from those who are supposed to be protecting the community from the criminals what do you do so a five-year-old boy get yelled at in maryland in his face he's screaming for his parents and the cop is back in his face being acting like a five-year-old screaming in his face what kind of foolishness is this it's really starting to get bad out here and unfortunately for us what do we do my partner my partner hero co-host of my show he said, hey, he did a video about three years ago. Black folks, police yourself. And I don't mean walking around with weapons, beating up people. I'm talking about police your behavior. Police your decision making. Stop and think. Hey, if I get 5 involved, is this going to end with a, news sto- a newsworthy story? Is this going to be a tragic ending? I'm just saying. Back up in Wisconsin, the, the, the one dude who got, in Ken, uh, not not Kenosha, but where was it? Well, I forget. Jacob Jacob Blake, whatever his name was. I think that's his name. He was shot in the back seven times by a police officer. Now he's suing. Hey, that's his prerogative. That's probably what he should do. I don't agree with why Jacob Blake was over in the situation that he was in. But what I do know is that If there wasn't all that drama between him and those ladies over there, his baby mama, kids, and all that, if there wasn't any drama, if there was better decision making, would it be fair to say, here's a question, would it be fair to say he would not have been shot seven times? See, it's funny to me in this country that when something bad happens to someone, And then we start asking these questions, start really digging into it. We start to find out that there was a decision or a series of decisions that preceded the negative outcome. I'm all for personal accountability and responsibility. I believe every person in this country should be personally accountable for the things that they say and do. I get on YouTube. I look into a camera. I talk to you guys. I am 100% accountable for every word that I say. Do I remember every word that I say? For the most part, I do. And if if I forget something and somebody can play me a clip and remind me and I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. I don't, I have, I have enough ego to make me successful, but not enough to make me dangerous. I'm not dangerous. I care about people. I typically like to do the right thing by people. There's some people that can get a big fat middle figure. Let's just be honest. I'm a human being. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all today. But I'm telling you, though, what we see go on in this country, a lot of it is by people that look like me. Let's just put it out there. If I make a bad decision and put myself in a situation that's not helpful for me long term what could potentially lead to me losing my life losing a functional ability whether it be to hear or to see or a limb or something like that that i gotta own that i gotta own that but back to my original point if it is in fact just a police officer or officers that are harassing, abusing power, and making things uncomfortable for a particular group of people. I don't care what color you are, what you got between your legs, what you think you are, what you identify as. It's irrelevant to me. Don't care about it. If a police officer approaches anybody 
and uses bad judgment, the person should not be able to earn a living ever again. And in fact, depending on the outcome of the victim, and yes, they are victims, police, when they do something wrong against somebody, they're not that that person that they harassed is not a perpetrator. They are, in fact, a victim of a heinous crime more often than not. Just because you have a badge and a gun does not mean you get to berate me. Does not mean you get to ask me if I want to ride the lightning. Hell kind of comment is that. And I was like, miss me with the homoerotic fantasies you got over here, you fat, chubby cop. You got nothing else to do but to harass this Afro-Cuban military guy in his freaking fatigues. You mace him. He rolls his window down. You mace him. He's not trying to be on the news for getting shot. He still ended up on the news. He did everything right, and you all but called him a dog. You treated him like one you might as well have. But this is what we got to endure as citizens in this country. We pay into this tax, and our tax dollars obviously are not being used properly by the cities and the municipalities, and it's time to say enough. It's time to say it's over for. We need absolute reformation among these people they are mentally unstable egomaniacal losers with nothing holding them back from being accountable they don't they're never made to be accountable they they i won't say never rarely rarely are they made to be accountable we all know this it's the way it is and now it's just acceptable we just record them put it on social media and wag our fingers at them it's time for a little bit more than that. It's time for a little bit more than that. I'm going to leave everybody to their own devices to be able to conjure up whatever fantastical ideas that they can think of when I when they hear those words come out of my mouth. You do with the, these things whatever you want. You be accountable for the decisions you make from the words that I say. I am not an advocate for violence. But what I am advocate for is humiliation and money loss. Shout out to Jason Statham in Revolver. Nothing hurts people more than humiliation and money loss. And I said, until we start hitting people in their freaking pockets and making them look bad and feel like doo-doo, they're never going to change because it costs them nothing. It literally costs these people nothing. It's going to be a story on the news for a week and then it disappears and it's nothing. And this is the ultimate problem. Once we can get them to see that we mean business and we're not going to tolerate this, they're going to move way different. I promise you, because they don't have an option. But until everybody gets a backbone, they're going to do what they want. Ah, I'm, I know I'm a little animated. I'm a little heated. I get it. Bear with me. But I really appreciate you guys. Coming in, checking out this story. We'll have all the links to the stories below. There were so many of them the past week, I couldn't even just focus on one. So I'm going to put this up. I love you guys. This has been Facts Only with your host, E.T. Facts in the Building. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you like, uh, like, share, subscribe. Go down in that comment section. Give me some work down in that comment section. I'm telling you, give me some work, man. I, I, I love that. Hang out with you in the comment section. Anyway, man. Peace. And I'm sleep deprived. Shorty on the line and we fuzz and fight. Seems like every night. Don't care who's wrong or right. I hope the end is sight. Slow it down and we can catch the vibes. The vibes.